Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a um, tutorial on how to make the craft trolley, also known as the Razcar trolley from Ikea. <laughs> I think everyone pretty much knows what a craft trolley looks like. Um, you would have seen a picture of the one I made previous on the title of this video. Um, but yeah, I made one during the mini doodle book challenge I did with Melis Makes and um everyone loved it and would like a tutorial especially a big shout out to pebbles colita's creations she desperately wanted this tutorial so here it is now it is fairly repetitive so i've gone ahead and made um a few things just to keep this video nice and short for you but we'll go through what you'll need um to make this so we're going to start off with the main boxes you're going to need two pieces of these and they are 10 and 1 8 by 8 inches and then you want to score at 2 inches on every side so every side score 2 and you need 2 of those then for the inner boxes of the trolley um, these are sized 7 and 3 fourths by 6 and 3 fourths and you're going to need 4 of these and you want to score at one and seven eighths on all four sides. Now, I just want to point out the weight of the paper that I'm using. So the outer box, this is an 80 pound cardstock. And this one is about 60, 65, which is sort of regular um, paper that you get from like Echo Park, Photo Play. This is actually Photo Play paper um doodle bug it's that sort of regular card so i just wanted to point that out if you're using anything thicker you may want to um add in you know take away um a one eighth somewhere just wanted to point that out because it is a really snug fit <laughs> so yeah you need four of these um once again they're seven three fourths by six and three fourths scored at one and seven eighths on all sides i will leave all the details and measurements in the description box should you need to go back okay then for the side pieces you're going to need two of these and this is um five by eight and three fourths and then on the um eight and three fourths side you want to score at three eighths on both sides so here and here and then on the five inch side you want to score at two, two and one fourth, four and one fourth, and four and a half. Okay, so two of those. Then for the stand and the wheels, uh, you want to make some little small boxes. So you're going to need four of these, and this is three by four and one fourth. On the three inch side, score at one and two, and then on the four and one fourth side, score at one, two, three, and four and then for the wheels i've gone ahead and made these little wheels to stick on um these circle dies are one and a half and one and one fourth and i've just stuck them together and this i've just used scrap pieces of card um but it is like sort of more heavy duty card for sturdiness i mean they're not actually they're just decorative but rather than you know getting them bent and stuff with what you might want to put in your build so let's get building so the first thing i'm going to start off with is the larger outer box so i'm just going to burnish all four of these sides and i'm also need to pay attention to where to cut like i say it is a really really snug fit um, I would recommend using either hot glue or wet glue if you've got patience with wet glue. For this video, I'm going to be using wet glue and the hot glue. I'll turn, like, you know, just for quickness. Right, so the outer box, you want to cut away tabs and you want to do it in a, um, what's the word? <laughs> the word has escaped me. Catherine wheels? Yeah, Catherine wheels. So, you cut there, then turn, and then you cut that. And then this will um, create um, equal bulk. Like I say, it is really a tight fit. 
And you may think, oh no, it's not going to work. But it will. I promise you. So just cutting. I personally like to cut the score line out. You can just create tabs if you want to. What I am going to do actually is go back round and just cut just a sliver away. Like I say, it is tight and sometimes you do get a tiny little overhang and then that becomes a tiny issue to try and take off afterwards. So just the tiniest of slivers. But if you prefer wedges and you like to work wedges, you can do that. No problem. So that is that one cut and ready. I'm just going to move that to the side. <laughs> and here is the inner box. So I'm just trying to remember what colour I have yet. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. I've got this is the Willow Lane. I actually got it in a mystery box from Cheryl Simone. Anyway, right, cutting. So you want to cut down where the longest side is. So and you want to do that for all four. So where the longest side is, that's where we cut away. And you want to do that to all four of these inner boxes um, now you can either choose to have them loose or you could glue them in I personally like to glue them in because like I say the it is snug I am <laughs> I am saying that a lot because it is so true it is really really snug I'm not going to use hot glue on this one just because um, of the paper. Hot glue will add some bulk. And because this is sort of lighter weight paper, it doesn't need it. So I'm just gluing those boxes together. that now I keep my doodle book pops and sprinkles and bits and bobs in mine and I think my daughter has her eye on this one <laughs> so I don't know what I will get to use this one for but it is great for storing little bits and bobs if you have like enamel dots and things right so that's that box made I'm just gonna leave that to the side and we're just going to continue on making the rest of the boxes so this is the uh, sort of stabilizer for the wheels and all i do is i cut away the score line and then when i get to that quarter of an inch i just make a tab You want to go ahead and do this for all four of them. I'm just <laughs> being naughty and pulling these away. Nobody's going to really see them. So it's okay. Then what we want to do is fold it over the lines. Or, you know, you could burnish before cutting. That would make more sense, <laughs> but it's okay, like so. Right, and then for this, I'm just gonna fold over my quarter of an inch, add a little bit of hot glue, fold over and attach like so, and then just add some glue. Take 
into all the flats to create them boxes. And there you should have four little cubed boxes. I'm just going to get rid of them glue strings. Okay, the next thing we're going to work on is the side box. So this is just sort of holds the box together. Um, bear in mind, this is lightweight card. It is paper craft. This does have a slight wobble to it um, because it's paper. <laughs> I don't know how else to like explain that. But, you know, it's... Um, you know you can't make something solid solid you know when it's floating in the air i guess i don't know i don't know how else to explain it to you but this is the solidest i can make it so i'm just burnishing over these score lines just be very careful with those um quarter of an inch ones they can sometimes be tricky. Right, okay, so on this, you wanna cut up the line, or that quarter of an inch is, so cut up there, and then you wanna remove this tiny little triangle, triangle, rectangle here. So just do that on both sides. into both pieces so I'm just cutting up I'm not removing anything I'm just cutting up like that then on this bit that's next to this um, half an inch tab here I'm just going to add some double-sided tape remove that and then I'm going to add two straws and this gives it strength. So you might need to cut them down or add, you know, extra, I don't know. These are just standard size straws. It may be different in uh, different countries and things like that. So that's, you know, <laughs> they're all I know. So I'm gonna fold that one over, this tab here, add, glue and then fold over to join like so then I'm going to fold in the little tabs like that then I want to so I like to use that as a back piece so I'm going to chop off half here and then half here on these tabs. You'll see why I just like a nice clean finish because you want to try and push it in as far as you can. You don't want a loose box. So I'm just adding glue to them tabs and then I'm going to push this one over and then that one over there and Yes, I'm using hot glue, <laughs> um, but again, at this point, you could probably use the wet glue, um, but I'm just trying to be quick, and who doesn't like a bit of hot glue on their fingertip? Yeah, seriously, be careful though. Right, there we go. And I'm just cutting away, a sliver away. Pushed it in nice and tight. And that is now a nice solid panel. Okay, so all the bits are complete. I just want to show you now how I put the inner boxes into the main box. So, so there's one that I made earlier. And then here's another <laughs> inner box. So 
I take the outer box, just trying to remove these glue bits off my finger, and then I just put them on top of the um, outer box, and then I just go around and glue the box together using the inner boxes as guides. So this would be a good time to use wet glue, like I say, because you're not creating bulk. But because I'm doing a tutorial and I want to be quick, I'm just going to use some hot glue. And I'm just going around, holding the boxes as a guide. making sure the tabs are already in place. Like so, I need another glow stick. And this one in here. Like so. Like I say, you can leave it like this now and then these will be able to come out, but it is a tight fit, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I do personally prefer to glue it in like this. So what I do now is just go along. First thing you do is go in the centre and glue the two inner boxes together. And then I just go along the outside, just with my glue. And then pushing the panels down onto itself. So I'll go opposite, opposite. And that way. I know it's all fit nice. So, more glue here. So this is really easy. It is just building boxes in boxes in boxes. Um, so I think lots of people should make it. <laughs> And not be afraid to have a go. And if you are into making like 3D stuff, I do a uh, 3D prompt challenge. So take a look at that if you want to. So there are our boxes made, our baskets, whatever they're called. <laughs> um, and then we have our two side panels. And we've got our four cube boxes and our wheels so we just need to stick it all together so we start off with the side panel so choose which one you want to be on the top which one you want to be on the bottom etc and then i am just going to apply some glue to one side here And that just goes to the bottom. I'm just eyeballing here. You could measure it if you wanted it to be perfect. So there's the bottom stuck. Now we need to do the top. So I'll just slide that in there, just so that I can gauge how much glue. So I'll just pop my finger there and just apply some glue. Take my car. And I've added it to the wrong side. Add it there 
making sure it lines up with the top here. So I'm very in your face here now as it's getting bigger. And then glue here. Like so. Just making sure everything is lining up nice and straight. I say it's not too wobbly but it has like the tiniest like koozie but pretty much it's pretty sturdy stuff now I just want to add the um, feet to the bottom I will clean up all these glue strings I'm just add in and here like so it might be a good idea I'm just looking over I've got a ribbon I should uh, organize this would be very good for holding that sort of thing. Like that. And then we just add the wheels. Right, so here it is all finished. I've just gone ahead and made a little bit of a doodle bug face, because why not? <laughs> just to finish it off and uh, remove some of the glue strings. And I think it turned out pretty well. I hope that you can follow along to this tutorial. I hope I made it as simple as possible. Um, like I say, it is just box on box on box. So it is quite repetitive. Again, I will leave all the, the description of the instructions. <laughs> Sorry guys, words are not, not my forte today. The instructions um, in the description box below. So, um, you know, you can just write them down, make this at your own free will. I'd love to see it if you could tag me, if you do make one. I would love to see your versions. Um, unfortunately, yes, my daughter has laid claim to this already. So, and I was thinking like I could put, put in my, my ribbons and things, it would fit perfectly in there, but nope. I guess I'll have to make another one. <laughs> so thanks uh, for watching this tutorial. If you like my videos, please can you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done yet, please subscribe. And I will see you again soon. Bye.